Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. I hope you're all doing fantastic, making some great music and having a blast doing it. Today I'm gonna to show you a mic that I've been asked a lot about on the console side chats, but until now have not had the chance to use it. And that's the Audio-Technica ATM 230 Hypercardioid Dynamic Microphone. This mic is billed as a drum microphone, percussion microphone. It's great on toms, which is what we're gonna use it on today but really it's made for any instrument that needs a microphone that can handle some seriously high SPL. And this mic does a fantastic job at doing just that. It comes in a three pack, which is why I have three toms out here today so we can hear how they all sound. It also comes with this handy mic clip that makes clipping onto the side of your drums rather easy. This is great if you're in a live situation or you have a home studio where you don't have a lot of floor space to have stands out. I will say this, if you have a rims mounting system like I do on this rack tom, you would need to put this on before because I was not able to get it to fit in between the rims mount and the rim, which was no big deal to me. Fit great on these two toms. There is some cable management as well, which is handy to keep things nice and neat. And this clip allows a wide range of adjustment so you can find that perfect position for the mic. This mic also has a nice low profile, which makes it easy to fit in tight spaces. The ATM-230 has a frequency response of 30 hertz to 12 kilohertz. And that roll off at 12K might initially make the mic feel kind of dark. But if you pair that roll off with the hypercardioid pattern, this mic does a fantastic job of mitigating off axis cymbal bleed. And if you're live out on a stage, it would also do a great job of not only mitigating cymbal bleed, but the other elements that are on the stage as well. However, I didn't really find it to be that dark in context. Speaking of off-axis bleed, I find that dynamic mics a lot of the times have kind of a phasey, harsh sounding off-axis bleed. I did not find that to be the case with these mics at all. It's actually pretty smooth, it's not nasty sounding, and if you don't like to clean up your toms in between tom hits to let things be natural, that bleed is actually quite usable. Let's take a listen to that right now. I am running an all Audio Technica setup today. ATM 250 in the kick, ATM 450 on the hats, ATM 650 on the snare, and a stereo 4050 for overheads. Let's have a quick listen to those mics before we record a short performance. You've been listening to the Tom mics and all the performance underneath everything I've been saying and the short clips in between. Now you also know what all the other mics sound like. We're gonna take all that, put it together, and I'm gonna record a short cue. And if you've seen the Choosing the Right Snare Mic video, you know this cue. I just tweaked the performance to be Tom heavy so we can hear what these sound like in context of some music. Let's have a listen. There you have it. 
I'm really happy with how these mics have performed. Great job at mitigating cymbal bleed. They have a nice low end, which is great for the 16 that I have tuned quite low. It's still picking up the beef of the drum and they'll handle some seriously high SPL. If you dig these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Ring that bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Happy recording, everybody. We'll see you next time.